Hello. My name is Kara Kaikini, and I'm the board president of the Maine State Breastfeeding Coalition. The Maine State Breastfeeding Coalition is dedicated to helping families feed their babies human milk and enhancing the culture of breast and chest feeding. Above all, we are an organization that supports maternal and infant physical and mental health. Health organizations recommend human milk, but we know that that is not always possible or optimal for families. Establishing and maintaining a milk supply in a good latch can be extremely difficult. In a time of crisis like this, we know it is not helpful to say, just breastfeed, or to contribute to a divisive conversation about breast milk versus formula. We stand in solidarity with all families feeding their infants and are here to help in any way we can. Our organization is committed to helping families reach their infant feeding goals. A significant portion of our organization goals are related to breaking down the barriers that make formula necessary. We support paid leave so lactating parents can focus more time on establishing that breastfeeding relationship and milk supply. We offer education to professionals to enable them to better support lactating parents throughout their journeys. We offer support and education to parents and workplaces for that eventual transition back to work knowing how many families start using formula around that time. Our advocacy work also helped pass the bill that will provide reimbursement under the main care program for pasteurized donor human milk. This was just signed into law and will make donor milk an option for so many more babies in Maine in 2023. There are still so many more opportunities for improvement to better support nursing families. Opportunities at every touch point of a nursing parent and baby's journey improving prenatal care and birthing experiences, increasing lactation support staffing in hospitals, making the pathways to becoming a lactation counselor or consultant more accessible, making access to lactation and mental health support more equitable through diversifying the workforce, providing care that honors diversity, equity, inclusion, belonging, and justice, and funding research to better understand low milk supply, medications, and other substances in mother's milk and more. Not knowing how you're going to feed your baby is extremely stressful. Many recommendations shared on the internet and on social media right now may seem like the only options. However, it is important to note that parents and caregivers should never dilute infant formula. Diluting formula leads to malnutrition and can lead to brain damage. Infants and babies have specific needs for sodium, potassium, calcium, proteins, fats, and micronutrients that could not be provided for through many home recipes. Goat's milk can also cause severe anemia in infants despite popular recipes and it is medically advised against. In all cases, the risk of harm to infants from homemade formula outweighs the benefits. People should also avoid purchasing imported formula through online sales as it has the potential to be counterfeit. More information about options you can consider instead are First and foremost, if you haven't already, calling your baby's doctor for guidance. Depending on your baby's age and situation, they may allow a certain amount of cow's milk. This is a conversation that needs to be had with your baby's doctor. And for babies who need special formulas or diets, your baby's doctor will provide guidance on how to ensure the best nutrition. WIC. If you have WIC or wonder if you qualify, contact them now if you haven't already. The amazing folks at WIC all over the state have been working so hard to meet families' needs since the original recall months ago. They are doing the best they can to keep informed about the available supply of formula and our incredible resources regarding that, general nutrition, and breastfeeding. Relactating. Some people are able to relactate. If you're considering this, contact a lactation consultant at WIC or your local hospital, pediatric office, or private practice for guidance. Relactating takes time and it is most effective if you've recently given birth. We have some resources on our website, mainbreastfeeds.org, about relactating. And Maine WIC recently offered a webinar about relactation that we will share as well. Donor milk from an accredited milk bank is available for medically fragile babies. This is pasteurized donor human milk. There is a fee that covers screening, storing, handling, and shipping, and all the administrative costs. There are many costs associated with this process, which is why this milk costs money. Though some private insurance companies will cover this cost. And the Mother's Milk Bank Northeast, the closest milk bank to us here in Maine, does offer some financial support. Milk donors are screened and the milk is tested for bacteria, 
and is pasteurized as well. This is the safest donor milk option, though it may not be accessible for everyone. Milk sharing in general, informal milk sharing between lactating people may be an option too. It's important that parents have appropriate information to reduce the risks that could potentially be associated with milk, with milk sharing. We'll share an excellent resource that has guidance on what questions to ask uh, on www.eatsonfeeds.org slash safe milk sharing. We'll share that resource that is on our website as well. If you're considering using milk from another lactating parent, you should ask that donor questions like whether or not they're using any medications or substances, ask how they stored the milk, when they've last had a physical or blood work done, et cetera. It is not recommended to purchase milk from anyone, especially through websites like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. We'll share a resource as well on our website from the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine statement on informal breast milk sharing. It has excellent resource information for you. In terms of formula options, it's good to know that formula sold in the United States by law, the Infant Formula Act of 1980, requires all formulas to have the same nutritional content. It only differs in flavor and packaging. So the formula at one location like Sam's Club or BJ's is equivalent to more expensive brands you might find. Your baby may be able to take a different brand or switch to another formula. All guidance that you can speak to your, your baby's physician about. There isn't going to be necessarily a best formula out there unless there are specific medical needs. Unfortunately, we understand that many medical practices do not have formula to distribute and local food banks aren't always able to ensure that donated formula cans have not been compromised. You can check smaller stores or ask anyone and everyone you know, if you haven't already, to keep an eye out for formula at their nearest drugstore or corner store. You can also reach out on social media to see if anyone has any formula they can spare. I've seen a lot of that happening and a lot of wonderful connections made. Just be sure those formula cans or bottles haven't been tampered with, with or expired. And finally, please don't overbuy. Buying in bulk may exacerbate this issue. So please only purchase as much as you need now. And finally, this is a tough time. This is one that challenges our trust and shakes our confidence. So let's be kind to one another, hold on to the belief that this challenge too is temporary and trust that our community is strong. The Mainstay Breastfeeding Coalition is part of that community and we are here to help in any way possible. You can find those resources I mentioned and many more on our website, www.mainbreastfeeds.org. You can also contact us through the website. Thank you and best wishes to you and your families.